this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel Day 3. Okay, this is what I ran on Sunday, which has been three days. You can see the separation there happening. And it's a little hard to see, but there is a lot of graphene floating in the acetone because the acetone is the upper part of this and the bottom is the water. Acetone is lighter than water. So you can see the graphene, because graphene is a single layer of graphite, it, it's transparent and the density of the top layer there is uh, the graphene, multiple layers floating in the acetone. There's a distinct line here. Now I'm not sure what the quality of the graphene is below this level down here, but it's sitting on top of the water. So this would be fine graphite or graphene, but I'm not sure as the quality of the graphene here. I'm sure the quality of the graphene up here is probably pretty good. So this is the mix from today. I ran this today. You can see there's no distinction between it. It's all still blended. It hasn't settled out. This is a prep. This is what I'm mixing to put in the blender. Um, I'll show you how to do these marks, but basically this is the mark right here of what the premix that I put in the blender is with the 40 grams of graphite. And if you can tell there, that's perfectly clear, uh, the graphite settled at the bottom this is what I ran today now I'm gonna go over some of the things I learned today this is uh, 900 started off at 900 milliliters this is 900 milliliters so as you can see here that's what I lost and I didn't it didn't leak this is the vapor loss from the heat of the acetone and I'll show you what's going on here with the vapor once it reached the temperature, I think it's 130 degrees, it starts to vaporize. Uh, probably a little less than that because that's the boiling point. So it's vaporizing and the gases are escaping. The gases of the acetone will settle out onto the ground because they're heavier than air. Acetone will pool on the ground and because acetone can flash over, I'm in my basement and I have a gas water heater and if the vapor concentration gets high enough it could cause a flashover. Not sure if that could happen with something this small but that's a significant amount of vapor into the room. So I've got to work out a way to vent this. You were blending that and you let it run, the temperature of this gets hot. It's almost to the point at 40 minutes that you could barely hang on to this thing and the vapor was just fuming out of the top of that. You can see it fume. That's a lot of acetone. The room smelled like acetone. Even though the window was open in the basement, it's a high window in a low basement. If you do this, you need to do it outside or you need to do it in a well-ventilated area with no ignition sources. Now this thing's ran two times and I can already tell the motor the bearing is starting to seize. Now the acetone's probably leaking down and resting on the bearing. That's why I did, I did rearrange that one so I could oil it. But I can tell the RPM difference in once it got running it was okay but it had a couple times where it seemed like it was sticking. But I didn't expect this one to last. This was to run the test with. So, and if you look, let me take this off here. Right here on the bottom, you can see this right here. Acetone is, is leaking onto this. 
and it's starting to crack and come apart and I bet it's a made out of some type of PVC which acetone will destroy so eventually this will get to the point where this is completely useless um, to me so but I wanted to wanted you to see that because I do have some issues now the acetone leaking on this because this is a different kind of plastic it doesn't seem to be affecting it it's just the PVC that this is made out of and I can probably guarantee that the plastic on the bottom there that the blade goes through is probably made out of the same material as this so it's being affected now whether, whether that will distort my uh, experiment I don't know yet so if the acetone is melting the plastic and the plastics in the mix is that going to affect it? I don't know this doesn't seem to be affected either so uh, that's kind of what's going on uh, I just wanted to let you guys know where we were at in the experiment I got some ideas on how to figure this out I we really need a way to distinguish the quality of the graphene uh, I looked online and there seemed to be some ways to do it but it required some fairly expensive equipment to do that so I'm thinking maybe some kind of test where we mix the the graphene and create an ink and then we use continuity across the small swath like uh, Robert Murray Smith did to test his inks to determine the quality of the graphene we're getting. I'm not sure if that'll work, but it's a possibility that we could come up with a way to test this to know how what quality of graphene we're getting out of this process. Because obviously if it chops it up into super super micro small layers, then it's not going to be as continu uh the continuity is not going to be as great as larger pieces of graphene so so that's kind of it right there this is day three this is technomancer for zero point fuel signing out